is a cup of liquid nitrogen. And what you may notice, especially when I blow on it gently, is the fog that's coming off of it. And oftentimes people don't really think about what that fog is. And if they do think about what the, it is, sometimes they uh, don't realize that they might be wrong. So if you think about what this fog might be, your first inclination might be that it would be nitrogen coming off as the liquid nitrogen is boiling, which is a perfectly reasonable assumption. And in fact, the area that the fog is occupying is indeed nitrogen. But what you're seeing is actually crystallizing water vapor. So it's pulling water vapor out of the air because it's so cold, and it's turning into very, very small ice crystals, which is also why you get frost on the side of the container. Now, to prove this to you, I have a bag of marshmallows. And so if the fog is caused by uh, water vapor, what will happen when I eat one of these marshmallows is you'll see a lot of fog because the marshmallow will be liquid nitrogen temperature and my mouth has a lot of water vapor available in it. But if it's nitrogen, you won't see, you'll see kind of a very small amount of fog because the marshmallow will not be able to hold very much nitrogen gas. So let's take a look. So the marshmallows are freezing in the liquid nitrogen, and once they cool down, I'm going to eat one for your entertainment. And I'm going to take these tongs and remove one. And it looks like a normal marshmallow, but when you eat it, there's a lot of fog. Marshmallow is actually crystallizing the water vapor in my breath.